Courtney's Corner. Ding! Hey guys, it's Courtney. Are you guys ready to food prep? I am. Come on in! Welcome guys to Courtney's Corner. Ding! Into my weekly video log, food prep for the real people. First of all, I want to say that I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a personal chef. I am not a trainer, personal trainer of some sorts. I'm just a 32 year old trying to live the best life possible. Hey, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, follow me on Facebook, follow me on your Instagram. You will not be disappointed. So are you guys ready to food prep? Cause I am, so let's go. Hey guys, I'm back. And today we're gonna start with this breakfast. My first tip is don't go too crazy all at one time. Okay, so we're gonna start out with breakfast. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna do each week, we're gonna do a different meal and then we're gonna combine them together. Also, I wanna say good luck to the Eagles and the Patriots. Today it's Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. And we all know why we're watching it. Justin Timberlake. Right, ladies? Woo, woo. Okay, so anyways, I'm supporting Miami Dolphins. I yeah, know, they stink, but whatever. We're gonna go back to breakfast. So we're gonna talk about breakfast and the first thing that we're gonna do is I like to have all of my things prepared out for me. It just makes it easier. I'm not running around crazy trying to find where's this, where's that, where's that, where's this, where's that. I have everything ready for me to go. Um, my favorite thing to use is this electric skillet. It's amazing because I can do five eggs, I can do five bacon, I can do five pancakes, I can do five English muffins, I can do well, not really English mushrooms, I meant French toast, but yes, you get what I'm saying. Now that I talked about the skillet, I set this out about 300 degrees, you could do 250 to 300, whatever you want. You're gonna cook all of your stuff on here. For me, it makes it easier. You can also use a frying pan if you like. Um, today, I didn't mention what we're making. Today, we're going to make breakfast sandwiches, and on mine, I'm actually gonna make for two people, I'm gonna make it for me and I'm gonna make it for my boyfriend. Um, we both have busy schedules. He is in the military, so he has a really busy schedule. So I like to food prep his um, as well. So we're gonna do his and mine. And of course he's a man, so I cook his a little differently than mine. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I lost my turn of thought. Where do I go from here? Shoot. I'm just gonna keep so the next thing that we're going to do is, is I'm going to prepare my baking sheets to cook my English muffins. So actually, before we do that, let me get out the other ingredients that I, I'll show you what we make the breakfast sandwiches. So. Okay, so we're going to do breakfast sandwiches. Um, so for mine, I have, I use egg, Canadian bacon, and English muffins. Now, if you want to go to a healthier route, I use these Rubis dairy-free ones. Um, I get these actually at my commissary, but you can get them, I know, at the grocery store in the States and all that kind of cool stuff. So you can use those. Um, or wheat, English muffins, whatever kind of English muffin that you like, you can use. Um, I like these because they're small. Bagels, for me, are too heavy, and I just like them. They're a nice delightful breakfast sandwich because for me breakfast is the most important meal I eat a lot during breakfast so I can last out through the whole day um, for my boyfriend I use bacon of course every man's favorite food and eggs and then I also throw cheese on his because he's a man and he wants cheese so you know another tip for me is I food prep according to my audience so I food prep different than my boyfriend because he dislikes different things and that's okay so I'm fine with that um, it might make it a little bit difficult here and there but if they're gonna eat the food who cares right we want people to eat their food same thing with kids you can make breakfast sandwiches and they could heat them up they can go to school um, all of those things you could also do pancakes I've done pancakes which I'm gonna make a special pancake later um, it's a five ingredient pancake it's so yummy um, I adjusted it to taste even yummier, so we're going to make those later. Yum, 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 yum. And so, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going. Let's keep going. As Dory would say, let's keep swimming. So, I'm going to line all these with tissue paper, if you could hear that, or not tissue paper. What is this? Aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. And so, there's five days a week. I only food prep Monday through Friday. 
Well, technically Sunday through Thursday because my boyfriend goes to work on Sunday night. So technically, I food prep for uh, let's see Sunday through Thursday, but technically Monday through Friday. Um, because Saturdays and Sundays are our free days. We go and we do whatever we want. We eat out. We get takeout. Um, you know, what's whatever we want to do. Um, I'm just spraying mine with butter, laying it down so it doesn't stick to the pan, and it gives the edges of the English muffins a little bit of flavor. So you can use that. It's just like Crisco. I'm going to move all some of this stuff out of the way because I don't need this yet. But first, I'm going to put the English muffins in. I'll be right back. First, I'm going to put the English muffins in so while we're waiting for the English muffins to come out, we can cook our eggs. So I take out all the inflation. I'm going to need 10. I'm food prepping mine too. I don't have to go to work really too early in the morning. So sometimes I try to make mine in the morning, but food prepping makes it so much easier because <laughs> if you know me, I'm not a morning person. That's even with some coffee. So anything that makes my mornings easier, makes my mornings rest longer, I'm all about it. So this can be the same. Food prepping will help you save seven hours during the week. So that's a lot of hours to get an extra 30 minutes of sleep. You can take a bubble bath. You can do anything. Think about in the morning time, if you have a bunch of pancakes that your kids can run down the stairs, you already have them food prep, they can just heat them up, put pancakes or syrup on them. And then you guys can run out the door to go to school. Think of just how easy that would be. Well, your life would be. You could actually have 30 minutes sleep. You could do your makeup. You could do your hair. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. I have five more. I kind of just put in this bag. But what you gotta do? So I'm just cutting these here, trying not to cut my fingers off. Because again, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just an average girl. So currently, I am living in, well, I'm not really living in England. I'm kind of traveling in England. My boyfriend lives here, and so I just visit France, to the French Alps. I go to Rome soon. Just kind of going here and there, enjoying the freedom for right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. And ten. Any places that you think that I should travel while I'm over here? I'm going to try to go to Ireland. A couple other places before I got to go back to America. Uh, all right, let's see how many I got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's get the butter out here. All right, so I also, you can use regular butter. Again, this is all about what you like. Um, I prefer the, I use Earth Balance which is uh, non-dairy based. Um, I do eat a lot of non-dairy based stuff um, just because, I don't know, I like the taste of it and I just do and it is healthier obviously. But you know, again, it's to eat your own, do whatever you like, whatever is good for you. Again, food prepping does have its um, benefits. Obviously you can help you lose weight. It can do a whole other bunch of things. But for me, it's getting, me to have more time during the week to spend with um, my dog, my family, my boyfriend, all that kind of stuff. It helps me just not be so stressed about what I'm going to have, what I'm going to cook, what I'm going to do. All of this stuff can happen. Now, me and my boyfriend do eat the same thing every day, Monday through Friday, with breakfast. Um, we really, really love breakfast sandwiches, so we don't mind, but I know how kids can get and other people can get, so you can make, you know, a bunch of breakfast sandwiches, you can make a bunch of pancakes, some french toast, have it all in a little Tupperware and they can come down, they can eat whatever you want, different choices. I'm going to throw some of my fiber ingredient pancakes in there so I have different choices throughout the week. So let me go get a knife and I'm just going to butter all of these English muffins. Okay, once I have Buttered. I'm just going to put them right into the oven. So as you can see, they are all buttered and ready to go into the oven. It's way easier to do a large amount. Now, unfortunately, I am 
in England, and everything is tiny in England, so I have to do two trays at a time. Whether when I was in America, I could have a large tray and do one, one big lot. So anyways, so while those are toasting in the oven, we're gonna go right to our breakfast, our main breakfast sandwich part. All right, so I have the skillet nice and hot, and I have a little trash bowl over here that I really, really like to use because again, I'm food prepping. I don't want to be going back and to and from, to and from the, what is that thing called? The garbage can. You know, I'm going to tear. Now I'm going to spray this with just, you know, a non-stick spray. You probably don't really have to do it if you have a really nice one, but I use this all the time. So I better use it just in case I haven't been sticky. I'm going to grab some salt and pepper to salt and pepper my eggs. And we're gonna start the process. All right, so we're gonna use five eggs. We'll make we'll make my first because I like my, like my boyfriend's last because he has bacon, and you know bacon can get everywhere. And what I do is I destroy the yolks because I don't like a runny yolk. But again, everybody has their own preference, so. If you want a runny, runny yolk, go for it. You can make yours however you want it. However you like your eggs. I like mine with destroyed yolk. You can also make this meal with egg whites if you want to make it a little bit healthier. Um, I have some liquid egg whites that we'll use a little bit later for my five ingredients. Pancakes, but yep, you can use egg whites to make them a little bit healthier. And then Oh, this one doesn't want to really crack. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get shells everywhere. I'm already getting shells everywhere. Again, not a professional chef, as you can see. I can't even crack an egg. <laughs> That's okay. Let me rinse my hands. That water got everywhere. I'm going to move this towel over here so I have a nice towel to draw my hands from. This is actually from my grandma. Hi, Grandma, I love you. All right, so I have these on there. So I have five. So I'm just going to pepper them. Now, I don't really like salt, so I don't put salt on mine. But again, you can put salt on your eggs if you like. I also use different flavors um, on eggs. I have this Everything is Spicy from Flavor Gods. I use this a lot. For um, my husband's because he's like a little kick in his eggs. So I sprinkle sometimes everything spicy on there um, to make it a little bit more yummy. But other than that, this is what you do. Is you're going to cook your eggs. And we're just going to wait for these to cook. Alright, so this is where we're going to come back. Five minutes later. And then I use Canadian bacon for mine. So what I'm gonna do is try to open this. Again, not a professional. And you can, I try to put it in between. You might not be able to hear me because I'm gonna stop sizzling. That's all good. One, two, three, four, five. set so this is what mine will look like Oop, not very nice but I just put them on a the plate so they're ready to go when they come out of the the English muffins come out of the oven so that they, they take about a little bit longer than the toaster just because it's an oven so they'll take about five ten minutes so you should be able to get all of your eggs for both um, parties or how many ever eggs and stuff like that you should have enough time for doing all that so then I'm gonna go on to my boyfriend's 
So mine are all set, so I put mine to the side. And he likes bacon. Again, you can use whatever kind you use, you know, whatever kind of bacon that you use. But a little trick of the trade, I'll tell you, is I cut my bacon in half. Now, don't tell my boyfriend that, because he'll probably kill me. But I like to cut it in half because it tricks the eye to think that you have more than one piece of bacon. So when you take out a big piece of bacon like this, you have a long strip, you think this is one piece. But when you cut it in half, this, if I can get it out, this is your one piece. So on Saturdays or Sundays when we're spoiling each, when I'm spoiling myself, I'll have one piece of bacon, so I'll have three pieces of bacon, so it's only one and one half piece bacon. Does that make sense? So I just cut them kind of in half, tricks my little eyes, he doesn't know, and it makes it fit on the skillet a lot, a lot, a lot, lot better. So I'm gonna put on the bacon first, because bacon makes a lot of mess. So put the bacon for him. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cook bacon and eggs. And then I'm gonna put cheese on it. And I'm gonna let these cook. And I'm gonna come back to you and I will show you how to put the cheese on and some little spicy stuff to maybe even give it a little kick. Because you know, every man likes to go a little bit of spiciness in their life. Huh. That's why I guess you're giving me, but you know. Alright. So I'll see you in a while. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I took out two of my English muffins from the what is it? Oven. Duh. The oven. And now I'm preparing my boyfriend's eggs. Uh, I already put bacon on it. Or uh, bacon. Ha <laughs> ha. Bacon juice. Here's my bacon. Does not look good. Um, what we're gonna do is I already put pepper on it, I met, and then now I'm gonna salt them. Because he loves salt. I know, I'm the weirdo that doesn't like salt. You guys can say it. And then what I'm going to use, I'm going to use everything spicy, but I'm not going to use too much of it because it is very spicy. And I just put it on before I flip the eggs, just a tad, to give it an extra little flavor. Sometimes when I use, when I do his eggs, I will use pepper jack cheese. Um, but I'm using pepper jack cheese later in one of our special recipes for football day. Well, super Sunday. Super, super well, Sunday. And I'm going to be using that pepper jack later. So that's what I do with that, with the eggs. As you can see, why these eggs are cooking, I have some friendly animals. I am dog sitting this weekend, so they smelt some bacon and they were whining, so I let them open into the kitchen. So they're hoping to get some bacon, which will not happen, but they can surely try. And so I'm just gonna flip them over. Beautiful. I love this skillet, it makes it so easy. It makes it go, go, go by so fast. All right, so when they're flipped over like this, I'm gonna flip over, just making sure that all the yolks are smashed because he doesn't like a runny yolk either. What I do next is I have my piece of bacon and I put two pieces, crisscross them. I mean, I guess I don't have to look professional, but I try to crisscross them just because it's easier. Ah, these are hot. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, and then I try to turn down just a tad because I don't really want to burn the eggs on the other side because I want my cheese to heat up. And then I take my cheese, I have mozzarella, sometimes I use a Mexican mix too, um, but I didn't get Mexican mix this time. So I, have so I have a little bit of mozzarella, just sprinkle a little bit on top, a little bit on top. A little bit on top. Again, you can just make them however you want. You can put the cheese, then the bacon. It doesn't really matter. I don't go for craziness. I just go for yumminess. That's how life goes. And why I am doing, why it's doing that, I have a plate ready for them to go to put on because if I stack them, they all stick to each other. So while I'm doing that, I am going to take my aluminum foil. I use aluminum foil with my sandwiches. Um, a, because it keeps them warmer. B, if you put them in a paper towel or a Ziploc baggie, they just get all dewy from being so warm, even after they cool them down. So I prefer aluminum foil. Again, you can use whatever you want. You can use um, Tupperware, whatever you feel comfortable. But I like aluminum foil because it just saves room too in my fridge. So I'll need total. How many will need? Ten. Ten total. So 
in the chunked out shirt. Oh. That was our other GoPro, the other GoPro guide. I thought I was setting off a fire alarm, which I kind of do, so we had to put a bag over it. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my tips for food prepping again. Remember, we're going to start small. We're going to start with breakfast. Um, I love breakfast sandwiches, and I have them Monday through Friday every single day. I have for a couple of years just because they're so easy. They're so delicious. I add a banana and blueberry every single morning um, to my meal, so it makes it nice and hearty, and I'm getting a well-rounded breakfast. I recommend having a fruit or any sort of anything like that with breakfast because it just makes your day even that better. Um, I also have coffee. I love coffee. Who doesn't love coffee? And I'm a monster without coffee, so I have coffee too. Um, and we can always talk about that later in another food prep section of what I drink and all that kind of stuff. Um, what other tips do I got? Oh yes, when you go grocery shopping, another tip that I have is, is I plan out my meals for the week. Um, I do uh, every single meal that I want so I know what I'm going to food prep. So when I go into the grocery store, I know what I'm getting. I'm not straying from the list. I'm not getting extra stuff. I'm going in, I'm going out, and it saves me a lot, a lot of time. All right. Okay, so as you can see, these are looking beautiful. They're melting a little bit. Now the cheese doesn't have to melt all the way because what you do is you'll heat them up in the morning time to eat them. You can put them in the oven again and heat them up if you have time. I just heat mine in the microwave. It's easy. It's good. I like them. They're delicious. And I haven't had any complaints from the man. So I must be doing something right. Okay. So I'm going to turn, ooh, not this up to 400. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm actually going to unplug it without burning myself. And I'm just going to put this over here. And I have a dog at my feet because he smells bacon. Oh, watch out. Okay, so now I have this clear space and thanks to being here in England again, everything my my kitchen is small. So I'm gonna try to do the best I can. So this is actually another great activity for if you have kids and you wanna make um, breakfast sandwiches. This is a great activity for them. They can put together their breakfast sandwiches. Again, you can have things laid out like bacon, cheese, um, any little thing that you want to put on your breakfast sandwich, you can have it laid out and they can make their own breakfast sandwiches for the week. That's a great for do a family event. Let me get the other toaster around this dog. Kingsley, he's one of the dogs that we are dog seeing. I don't know where my dog is. She's probably sleeping. She's always sleeping. But... All right, so let me move this out of the way. So we have all of our English muffins. Oh, let me bring one up for you. So you can see how they're nice and crispy. They're ready to go. They're all good. They're crispy on one side. You can make them a little bit darker if you want. I don't like them too dark because I don't really want to get a burnt smell. So these are perfect for me. And then the next thing what you do is you just put them together. So you just take two of these and then one egg, one ham, and you put it together. In the foil. And there you go. You have your breakfast sandwich. So that's how it's easy, pleasy, lemon squeezy. Um, like I said in, in earlier in the vlog that you would also do, if you want to do a variety of things, you can do pancakes, Aunt Jemima, Bisquick, any of those kinds. You just make a bunch of pancakes. You can do French toast if you like. Um, oatmeal is great too. You can do overnight oats. Any of those options where you can just have a bunch of stuff in a container and the kids can run downstairs and pick out their lunch or their lunch, pick out their breakfast and eat their breakfast and go to school is a lot more easier on your week. So that's what is all that entails for breakfast food prepping. And then what we're going to talk about a little bit later is I'm going to make a five ingredient pancake in a little while. And yes, it's delicious. So can't wait to see you there. I'll see you in about five minutes. All right. Hey guys, we're back. So I just want to let you see what the final product is of our My Breakfast Sandwiches. Um, what they look like. I just wrap them like this and then I label them. You can label them nice, 
things or whatever. Um, I like to put my uh, little love notes on it. So when he gets at work, he can get a little surprise every day. So those are those. So I'm going to put them over here. They're going to go in the fridge later. I let them cool down so they don't get all perspirated or whatever with all that moisture. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do my five ingredient pancakes. Now you're probably thinking, five ingredient pancakes are so disgusting. And let me tell you, they are disgusting. They were disgusting. Yeah, they didn't taste good at all. Um, but I have perfected them. I've added different things. I've selected different things. I've minus a couple things. So hopefully you'll like them a little bit better with my recipe. So we're going to try them. Um, I like to make them in bulk so I can eat them whenever. Sometimes I eat them for breakfast, sometimes I eat them from dinner if I'm really busy. So again, just having them in the fridge, it gives you an option of eating healthier and they're just delicious, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one banana and ask for it mash. So I kind of just rip it up and throw it in the bowl. Rip it up and throw it in the bowl. All right, and I still have a fan base, at least one fan base, Kingsley behind me. He is sleeping, so I don't know how entertaining I am being, but that's all right. All right, and so I open the egg whites. So we're gonna do one fourth cup egg whites. Now, if you're way better at me, you can use egg whites that are, you know, out of the egg, but I'm not that skilled. So I just put them in the little carton. Let me dry off my hands. So. Usually I put vanilla extract in it just because it gives that extra yummy, yummy taste. And vanilla extract does not have any calories, so you can add as much as you can want to a recipe. Same with cinnamon. I don't add cinnamon in mine, but if I was going to do an apple one, I like to do different flavors. So if I put an apple one, I put lots of cinnamon in it, so I have an apple cinnamon pancake. Delicious! But today I'm just going to use blueberries. Usually I have blueberries, strawberries. Um, actually, I might add some chocolate chips. That's a good idea, too. So, um, I also use this protein powder to just like, give myself a little boost during the week. It just helps me with my energy. I do work out a little bit during the week. I take my dog for a walk. You know, if you have kids or anything like that, it just gives you extra energy. I take one scoop of that. Now, I have a plant-based protein powder. No, I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. I love my meat. Of course, who doesn't? But um, I just like this because I know what's in my protein powder. I like to know what is in my food, and this tells me what's in it. It's by Tone It Up. Um, I use vanilla. You can use a chocolate. You can use whatever kind of protein powder. If you don't want to use protein powder, you can use uh, coconut flour, almond and flour, any kind of flour consistency to put in there to make it, you know, kind of feel like a pancake. But I recommend protein just because it gives you that extra kick of energy during the week. So hopefully I'm not talking too fast because I'm from New York and I like to talk fast. So before I add the blueberries, I'm going to grab a fork. Sometimes I have everything out and then sometimes I forget. So I'm just going to smash up everything, and I just got my bananas yesterday, so they are kind of hard. So we're going to do the best that we can here. Now if you want to make them more liquidy, or the consistency of liquid for pancakes, you can just add more egg whites, or actually I'm going to add almond milk because I forgot the ingredient, but don't tell anybody. So you can use almond milk. Um, you can also use regular milk if you want. I use almond milk because, again, it's just a healthier option. And I, it technically takes two tablespoons, but I kind of just pour with whatever I feel like just because I want my pancake consistency not to be chunky. Because who really wants a chunky pancake? Not me. I want it to be nice and fluffy and yummy. And I don't want it to be, you know, kind of like a booger. You want it to be good. So... I kind of add a little bit more almond milk, more than two tablespoons, and kind of kind of eye it out so it's nice and yummy. But this is the hard part, smushing up the banana. Do, 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 do. Smushing up. Stir it around. So if you can see, it kind of looks gross, but I promise you, it's gonna taste good. You just gotta keep smushing the banana around and kind of smush it on the walls. The best kind of bananas are the ones that are like, not fully brown, but almost brown. Those things just mash up like so good. But I guess everybody just loves their own different kind of bananas. Some like the green bananas. I'm talking about bananas a lot. All right, what I'm starting is I'm gonna start my frying pan here. 
So I got my frying pan here, low heat, low to medium heat. Because these cook super, super, duper, duper fast. They look kind of thick sometimes, but they do cook really, really fast. And so I gotta smush it up. Doop, doop, doop. All right, that's about good for me. Because I like a little banana chunks in mine, so I can taste the banana. All right, so I'm gonna set this right here. Now I'm gonna add blueberries before we even put them on the skillet. I love blueberries, so I add blueberries to my recipe. Doop, 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 doop. And I think the five core main ingredients, that's why I say five core main ingredients. So you have your protein powder or your kind of um, powder, whatever kind of powder you want to use. You have your liquid, which is your almond milk and your egg whites. And then I also, and your banana, and you have your banana. And then I add French vanilla in there for a little bit more flavoring to make it a little taste a little good. You can also add cinnamon if you like. Now you don't have to use vanilla protein powder, you can use chocolate, you can use whatever kind of flavor you want. I like vanilla because you, I think you can use vanilla for a lot more stuff because you can add chocolate into it. So I'm actually going to add some chocolate chips. Now of course I use dairy free chocolate chips because I'm a weirdo, but you can use regular chocolate chips if you want. Again, dairy chocolate chips, you can eat without feeling guilty. I just put a few in here just to give it that extra yummy chocolate. When you're eating them, you're kind of spoiling yourself, which is good during the middle of the week or on a Monday or a Tuesday or any day, really. Okay. So it was completely made, and I have my frying pan nice and warm, and I'm going to spray it. Oh, let me get my butter water. I'm going to spray my pan just like that. And then you can take the little measuring cup that you used for the egg whites. You're just going to scoop it right onto the skillet and let it cook. And let it cook. Alright, so as you see, I have my pancakes all set, so I'm getting ready to flip. Now, they are different than regular pancakes, so you have to be careful when you flip them because they get a little tricky when you flip them over but once you master them you can just flip it right easily so you just flip them all over and there you go you have your five ingredient pancakes and again like I said I make a whole bunch of them I put them in a the Tupperware and then I just have them whenever I want I can have them for breakfast I can have them for dinner I can have them whenever I like and then I just put a bunch of I don't put a bunch of butter on it. I put some butter on it and I use a little bit of syrup and there you go. It's delicious and ready to rumble. You can also put a little bit of whipped cream if you want. Just It's just a great, great pancake to have in your pocket. So next what we're going to do is we're going to make some queso Woo! for Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. All right, I'll see you there. I'm going to finish up cooking these pancakes and... We're going to make some queso. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a Super Bowl Sunday queso. Yeah, I love queso. It's my favorite thing. I found this recipe actually on Pinterest and I kind of tweaked it for my liking. Um, it's super, actually it's like healthy for liking cheese. So, um, but it doesn't have a lot in, in it. It only has one, two, three, four things in it. And then it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, what I like to do on um, Saturdays and Sundays is I like to make a new recipe each week to see if it is good or not because if it stinks I'm not going to food prep it for any of the week so I like to make some new recipes here and there and have um, people try them and tell me the truth if they like it or not and um, I love this queso so usually um, you know I do recipe of the week a new recipe and I actually am making one today I'm making French onion soup which is over there but today since it's Super Bowl Sunday, I'm going to make one of my favorite cheese queso that your kids will love, everybody will love, your dog will love. It's so yummy. Um, let's, let's make it. Okay. So what we're going to start with first is we're going to do one pound of American cheese. And all you do, you can shred it if you want, but I'm going to cube my cheese up because I like to cube it. You know, shredding is a lot of work. So I'm just going to chop it up, put it in here. Do, 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 do. 
chocolate cheese. So who's everybody rooting for? Um, who is it? It's the England, New England Patriots and the Eagles. Although I am from New York, I do not like the New England Patriots. So I will not be rooting for them. I will be rooting for the Eagles. But I am really watching it for Justin Timberlake. I know he forgot to marry me, but him and Jessica Biel, I guess they'll, I guess they'll be together. Um, but yep, that's what I'm watching it for. So it should be a good one. And the National Anthem. I love watching the National Anthem. Whoever sings that. But tonight we're watching the game. And the game starts at, well, 11 o'clock here. Because we're five hours ahead. So that should be fun. Hopefully I can stay up. At least till the halftime show. So we'll see. So we're just going to chop up and cube this. I'm going to fast forward it. What? So you don't have to watch me chop and cube this whole thing. Well, I'm going to chop and cube this. And then we have pepper jack cheese. So I get us one pack of this. Um, a medium heat. You can do large. You can do a hot. You can do a mild. You can do whatever you like. I like a little bit medium. Um, husband likes a little bit spicier. So we kind of meet in the middle. So I have a medium. So I'm going to chop this up. And I'm going to chop up my cherry and cheese. And I'll be right back. Okay. Now I have all the cheese cubed up and I just put it right into the crock pot. I turn it on low and so you're gonna basically put it on low for about an hour. You can turn it on high if you want but I don't recommend that just because it is cheese and you don't want to, it to burn. We've done it many times where like we're like oh my god we're so hungry. So we turn it to high and then it's a total mistake because then we burn the cheese and it's ruined and we can't have it then we're crying. So I recommend turning on low for an hour. Be patient. I promise it's gonna taste amazing. The next thing that you're going to add is you're going to add one can of evaporated milk. And you're just going to pour it right over the cheese. Ooh, I almost spilled. That's okay. There we go. Pour it right in. I don't really need this cutting board anymore. So I'm going to put it over here. And then what you can do too is you can, um, we're going to add in chopped green chilies. Now I love green chilies. So you can cut up your own if you like, but to make it more convenient, they're like 50 cents at the store. Just buy them and chop them up. Cause you know, football, you don't want to be sitting there chopping up green chilies. You want to be watching the game, cheering on your team, all that kind of stuff. So you just pour in your green chilies. Now ask for only one. I typically only put in one, but I'm putting in two because I just love green chilies. They're just so good. So you put it in there, you pour it in. So like I said, in the crock pot, goes a pound of American, one block of um, just from the store pepper jack cheese, then I'm going to put, you usually put in just one can of green chilies, I like to put in two, and then one can, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. So you just put that in there, and look who showed up, my dog Zoe's down there, I'm trying to find a spatula, but I'm not sure where it is, so let's use a spoon. So I'm just going to stir them all together so it gets in there, get the milk in there, get the cheese moving around because it is getting a little warm. So you stir it in there and it melts down and then you eat it with your favorite chips. So then I use, I love blue corn chips, so I use blue corn chips and then you could just use cantina, scoops, whatever you like. And that is your Super Bowl queso. So I hope everyone has a good Super Bowl Sunday. Now don't forget, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. And next week we are going to do lunch. So I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. So have a good day. Bye. Thanks guys for stopping by. I'll see you next week for a fun filled day of food prep. Bye guys.